slice and dice. Let's go. Now we're gonna watch the juicer do its job, guys. Gonna stir it up. There you have it. Let's put it in the refrigerator and drink. So what I'm gonna do is put this into a bowl because I got more smoothies to make, but I'm gonna turn this into a powder. So let's, there's that. We're gonna say that. We're gonna come back to this. Pulp, let's put it in the oven and we're gonna see how this thing tastes. We're all done. I left it in there for about 20 minutes. Here's the pulp, you guys. You could put it in the oven for about 30 to 45 minutes what i'm gonna do with this because i already just tried one to see how it tastes i'm gonna add some cinnamon on there add some cinnamon add some honey and it give it a nice crunchy sweet taste this right here is so bomb try it out you can also put it in the freezer or add some nuts and cranberries, whatever you feel. Do it. All right, it's all done. Now I'm just going to stir it and put it in my mason jar. Okay, now it's time to pour that juice in, you guys. There you have it. I have my green juice. Yum. So what I'm going to do with this leftover pulp is, let me get the rest of it out. Out of my machine. Okay, so I'm going to take this, get my parchment paper, put it right on here. We're going we're gonna to place this in the oven, you guys. Let me see. Let's start it. Hmm. Okay, now that this is dried, I'm going to put it into my blender and turn it into a powder. powder form you can put it in your smoothies make a tea out of it do whatever you like but yeah put in some soil to help them plants grow whatever you want there you have it So here's the leftover pulp that came from the juicer, you guys. I have frozen, put it in the freezer. I'm like, yeah, this ain't going to waste. I'm about to put this in. I'm about to use this and make a smoothie. So here's some frozen pulp. I'm going to add some of this in my um, smoothie maker. So one sec. So there we go. Let's add more. Okay, I added the pulp in. Next, you guys, I'm going to add some more fruit, some frozen fruit. So I'm adding this bag in here. It's halfway full. 
So let me add this on in. There it is. Guys, I'm gonna add my powder. So here is the powder that I had um, made from the juicer. This was my green smoothie. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this into my smoothie, you guys. Next, I'm gonna add some KO. I don't even know how this is gonna taste. I'm just throwing some stuff together, together to be honest with you guys. Um, if you would like more, if you would like different ideas on how to use the pulp, just let me know down in the comment section. Like I said, you can make it tea with it. You can um, put some in your soil. You can make a shake smoothie, whatever you want. You can make with it, put it in your food, whatever. So just let me know if you want me to show you exactly how I do it. Okay, let's go. Let me rinse this off. I'm just going to grab a handful to rinse off. And there we have it, you guys. I'm about to mix it up. I had to make me a shake, even though I'm juicing right now. I need something a little thicker. I'm cooking my kids some food because, of course, they ain't about to. They might try some juice with me, but they definitely ain't about to be doing what I'm doing. So, again, to make it sucky. Number three. I'm about to add some water because then I ain't doing what I wanted to do. Just adding a little water. Oh, my phone about to die. So five percent. Oh no, my phone about to die. I had to charge. Make sure you add enough water to it. What's wrong now here, Mama? I would definitely recommend not using blackberry in the shake because of the seeds.